trash, trash, trash. Definite. Oh, hey, writers. I didn't see you there. I was just cleaning out a bunch of things in my room because it is spring break. So I thought I'd do some spring cleaning. But wait, what? I just heard someone say, don't throw that away. Wait. You are right, Miss Silly Miss Fan Friends. We've been learning about some things that we can do to help protect our earth. And you are right. This is a trash. I should keep this. And maybe I should do something with it. <gasps> I heard someone say it. Someone said reuse. Yeah, maybe I should keep this box so that I can reuse it. Because friends, that's what we've been talking about. We've been talking about environmental conservation. And friends, today, what we're actually gonna get to do is we're gonna do some writing about that. Well, today, let's look at our list. What do we have? Hmm, we got the letter, check. Did we do a pamphlet? Mm-hmm. What about a review? Yeah, you did. Well, today, we're actually gonna make something called a poster. And I know you already did one with me a few weeks ago, but today, we're gonna do a special kind of poster. And actually, when I was cleaning through my stuff, I actually found a poster that Miss Sam made. This is actually a poster that I made for a protest that I went to. And it says, put Black Lives Matter into our history books on Grawl Hill. This was something that I believed, and this was a sign that I made to hold up and walk around and share with the world my idea, my opinion. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get to make a protest poster. What kind of poster are you making? Uh-huh. Everyone say protest poster. A protest is when you share your opinion, your idea to the world, and you show the world that you don't, you disagree with something that is going on. So let me actually show you because I was looking around in the news and I noticed that there have been a lot of climate strikes. Climate strikes are protests about things that are happening in the world that people don't agree with. And I actually found a bunch of pictures of kids who were protesting. Do you wanna see? Okay, let me share my screen with you. So take a look. Here are some kids at the climate strike and take a look at their protest sign. This girl, she's holding a sign that says, the globe is warming up, which is not a good thing. And then this person, they're holding a sign that we deserve a future. And it's showing the world hogging the country because they believe that they should have a future because if we keep things up, they might not have a future on this earth. Ooh, let's look at these protest signs. What do you notice? Mm, yeah, I noticed really big words. I noticed some pictures that are cleared. So this sign, it says one earth, one chance. So this person is saying, hey, we only have one chance to protect this earth. And if we're not going to treat it right, it might be over. And I see them walking around shouting. And there's even a stick. Hmm, let's look. Ooh, look at these people, these kids. They're holding up signs. And there's actually no words on their protest sign. There's just a big red circle with an X around it. Thumbs up if you think that means they agree with it. Thumbs to the side if you think they disagree. I think so too. Look at, and I notice in this little circle with the X around it, which means no thank you. I notice that there's a car with pollution coming out. So maybe they're saying no pollution. We can't have that anymore. Hmm, that's an interesting protest sign. I'm taking some notes right now because I might want to add that to my protest sign. Let's look, what else? Oh, I see this boy, he's holding up a sign that says, allow me to have a future. And on his shirt, it says water is life. So maybe he's saying, hey, we need to take care of our water because without that, we're not gonna have a future. This person, they're holding a sign that says, save the planet, clean up your mess. Oh, these are all really great posters, really good protest posters. So friends, actually, that's what we're gonna do today. today you're gonna choose one of your ideas and you're gonna turn it into a protest sign. So let me actually look at some of the ideas that Miss Fam and my class K3, we came up with, and I'm pretty sure K1 and K2, Misconception and Miss D's class thought of some ideas too. So let's see, we probably have some similar ideas. So my class was saying we should throw away trash, eat more plants, ride bikes or walk more, 
buy less things, plant trees, and then no more factories. These are some ideas we came up with. Now, what you're going to do, because maybe your class came up with some ideas or you came up by, with ideas yourself, you're going to choose one of these ideas. So let me think. I already wrote a letter to my brother about eating more plants. So I don't need to do that idea. Hmm. I actually really like this idea about buying less things because we as people, we love buying things, but it's not always things that we need. And actually when we buy more things, those factories are causing more and more pollution into our air, into our water. So I think I'm gonna choose this one, buy less things. What about you? Did you choose your idea? Okay, grab that idea, keep it in your brain. And now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some materials to make a sign. Now what's awesome, when you make a protest sign, you can use anything. For example, this protest sign that Miss Van used, it's just an old box. And then I glued a piece of paper that I wasn't using to the box. So actually, Miss Van, I have this Amazon box. If you got Amazon boxes laying around, grab that. Um, oh, but actually, I have this USPS box. I think I'm gonna use this box as my sign because it's nice and sturdy and I can hold it up as I shout out my idea. So I think I'm gonna use this and then, oh, I also have this piece of paper that I was about to throw away. Let me actually put this on up because I'm gonna use this as my protest poster. So I'm gonna put it up. Now, friends, when you make a protest poster, I'm actually gonna look back on those kids posters just to get some ideas. I'm gonna look back. And I want you to look with me and I want you to think about what you notice. So take a look. What do you notice on their posters? Ooh, I noticed that when you make a protest poster, you don't wanna have too many words. You want it short and sweet. Hmm. So I wanna tell people that they shouldn't buy a lot of things. What can I say that's short and sweet and it'll catch people's attention? Let me think. I can say, don't go shopping anymore. Hmm, okay, that's an option. I can also say shopping factories are polluting our air. Mm -hmm, that's true. I can also say that, what if, okay, I have an idea. What if I say less is best? So I'm not saying not to shop anymore. But I'm just saying, you know, buy less things, only get things that you need. So get less things because that's the best. It's the best for our environment. Should I write that? Yeah, I think so too. So that's what you're going to do. Think of a line that is short and sweet that shares your idea. So I'm going to put that idea on my protest poster. I'm going to write that nice and big. And actually the word less, I think I'm going to use a different color so that it stands out. So I'm going to write less. I might even make it block letters. Less. Is best. All right, is. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna put an exclamation mark too to really emphasize that I think this is important. Less is best. You might even underline the word best. Two red lines. Less is best. Now, I think that gets my message ap ap uh, across because people are like, wait, less is best? What do you mean? I think I need to add some more things so that people really know what I'm talking about. Let me look back on these kids' posters and see what they do. So let's see. Oh, so I notice that a lot of these posters, there's what they think, the words short and sweet, but they also include pictures like these kids. They drew what they don't agree with and then they put a big red circle around that. And I think I'm gonna do that because when you protest something, that means you're sharing your ideas on what you don't agree with 
or your ideas on what needs to change so that the world is a better place. So let's see, less is best. Now, what I mean by that is that I think people should only buy things when they really need it and not shop as much because when they do that, the factories that make their things that they buy is polluting the air and causing our earth to be really hurt. So maybe I'm gonna draw some shopping bags and then put a big red circle around and go, don't shop as much. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. So let me draw some shopping bags. Here's a handle. And I might even draw some factories to show that when you do go shopping, those factories are polluting the air. The factories that make those things that you buy, those toys that you buy, the clothes that you buy. Draw a chimney, draw some pollution. Now I'm going to draw that big red circle and put an X across it. Now I'm actually not done with my poster yet because what I noticed is those posters look really pretty. I'm going to actually take some time and I'm going to color it. All right, so here's my poster, everyone, my protest poster. I wrote, less is best. And I drew the earth that's really sad and getting sick and a shopping bag with the factories that are polluting every single time they make things that we don't really need. Now, friends, that's what you're gonna do today. You're gonna make your protest poster. Remember, there's two things that you wanna include. You wanna include words for your ideas that's short, and sweet. Don't forget, you don't want to write a whole big old sentence on that poster. So short and sweet words. That's number one. Number two is you want a picture that shows what you disagree with or what you want to change. So those are the two things. Everyone say short and sweet words, a picture that shows my idea. So those are the two things. And then once you're done, you're going to take this and I'm going to do this, but I'm going to take this and I'm gonna glue it to this box so that I'm ready to protest my idea. All right, my protesters, I'm looking forward to seeing what you are protesting to help us conserve our environment. Bye, writers.